MGM casinos were hacked uh, last week, causing many customers to have their social security number and driver's license information stolen. Yeah. Um, so do you think we will see more cyber attacks like this? And uh, what is your favorite cybersecurity stock that you're looking to invest in as a result? And I also heard that MGM um, had offered free lap dances um, to customers. Um, uh, that Larry Larry Flint's uh, club offered some, yeah. Oh, Hustler? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it had nothing to do with MGM? Well, it's, it's the, the hell, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's true. This is a fact, bro. It's not, it's like, not like Big Short Part 2. What? <laughs> this is not speculation. So because of, there was, I mean, there's a lot of things that happened, but uh, Larry Flint's club has stepped up and offered free lap dances to some of the people who were affected um, from the shores. I mean, people weren't able to get into their rooms, able to get yeah. money. Um, so there's a lot of things that happened, and this was this was, I guess, one of the perks. Should we say? So it wasn't MGM that offered the lap dance. Las Vegas strips. It was uh, Hustler Club. Gotcha. The, the Hustler Club. <laughs> yeah. well, I didn't. And in, in any event, yeah. Um, what's your take on this? And, and what is some cybersecurity come because to me cybersecurity is definitely one of like we talk about you know companies chip companies and smh and that's important because mm -hmm. semiconductors are going to be driving technology we talk about artificial intelligence a lot but cybersecurity is probably one of the most if not the most important areas um to the society currently and will be yeah. even more important over the next 10 years when you look at all technology becoming bigger and bigger and bigger then security has to come into play as well, right? Because it's like, all right, if we're going to rely almost 100% on tech, tech, yeah. then, you know, security, it's always safety first. So cybersecurity goes hand in hand with the evolution and the scaling of tech, whether it's artificial intelligence, whether it's semiconductors, whether it's social media, whatever, um, it goes hand in hand. So yeah. Yeah, what's, what's the deal with this? Um, the one I will lean on, on this crowd strike, I like that one a lot. Um, we've talked about it before. Uh, Trap is the one who put me onto it. I don't know if Microsoft has made their official announcement of integration into that space, but I think by 2025, they'll be a heavy player there. So we already have exposure there. Um, when uh, MGM, you should have updated from Windows 10. What are you doing? Like, uh, a few people sent me messages who worked there and said that they, they had got a threat, I think, three weeks prior didn't pay and then the attack came. I don't think this this would be the last one. If I was Hilton, uh, Radisson, Lakinta in, I would be on the lookout. All of those who probably didn't have the capital to invest in great cybersecurity, days in, holiday in, shout out to Chingy. Um, I would be on the lookout. Uh, Arby's network may get high work. It's, it's going to be tough. Like, But these kind of threats go up during a recession because the hacker groups know that if spending is compressed because the money isn't there, they probably have not upgraded their security because the margins aren't there to do so. Um, a, a lot more attacks are going to happen. So yeah. if I was CrowdStriker, I would be on an active campaign for every Fortune 500 to, to lock the, everything down with a fortress. Because like you said, if we're leaning such on tech, like people have to manually get checked in into their rooms in the M MGM. I saw a couple of pictures and people were waiting three hours in the lobby. Crazy. That's I unbelievable. Mean, like, this should not happen. But this is, and Ian, you brought up a great point because I'm going to touch on Microsoft because they are stepping into the cybersecurity point. Yeah. But this, like, I, Shadi says this all the time when, when life imitates art. Is this not Ocean's Eleven? We were just watching it the other Yeah. Like, this is, a good is, point. is this not Ocean's Eleven? Look, look pretty much. Impact, impacted slot machines, sports betting, kiosks, ATMs, loyalty program reward machines. Digital room keys also stopped working, leading to a huge lines at the front desk and uh, of each impacted hotel. So pretty much, you shut down the hotel. You shut down the hotel, and you shut down betting for the hotel. Now that doesn't help MGM, but you know who it does help? Caesars. Yeah. <laughs> right. And so if your competitors down, and people, especially during sports weekends, they're going to go to the competitor. People are not just going to say we're going to stop gambling. They're going to find where they can do it at. And so this helps Caesars. And so I'd be interested to see the profits that they made from that week. But from a stock standpoint, two months ago, Microsoft made headlines that they were going into cybersecurity space. Yeah. And they, you know, they asked the CEO of, of Palo Alto, what does this mean? Do you look at them as a competitor? And his thing was like, no, not as a competitor. But what it does do is validate the space. And we talk about cybersecurity all the time, whether it's CrowdStrike, whether it's C-Scaler, Palo Alto, 
uh, Cloudflare. And we had a conversation about Cloudflare um, last yeah. night. But it validates the space and talks about the importance of it going into the future. And if you have a company like Microsoft coming in, I mean, we've seen what they've done historically through all their, their verticals. This now puts more emphasis from not just the the, the cloud uh, companies of, of the world, but from all tech companies, because yeah. this is information from a casino, but that could be Apple or that could be Amazon. And now you're talking billions of customers. Yeah. Right. And so it, it's an interesting thing. But it, again, it's, it's really life imitating art. Yes, yeah. it, it feels like something that happened in the movie. We don't know the ramifications of it because it, it's so new. But, you know, the, if we're not looking at security and we're looking at AI, like we should, as we should, like when we talk about enemy state and we're like, this is imitating life. We should look at these yeah. movies as well. Like this can happen. Yeah, in fact, a lot of it. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's a lot of foreshadow. And I hope that it doesn't could happen to Instacart could happen to Publix. Like, please be on the watch. This is why, like, this is uh, really key. Uh, Palo Alto Network, I like a lot. Do you think it's delusional to say that Microsoft gives it validation, though? Is it delusional? I mean, them coming into the space. No, it, it, you have to look at it. If I'm Palo Alto, I'm, how are we going to be better? Yeah, or, or partner. <laughs> One or the other. Because this is a Goliath, not it's not a new company that's coming on the scene. It's this is a Goliath in another industry. But if they come into mind, they're gonna they're gonna take some market share. Yeah, and absolutely. If, if they take market share for me, and this is my sole, you know, business. source of business, that's gonna affect. That's gonna affect me short term yeah. and long term. Yeah, and uh, and unlike Apple of the last year, Microsoft has continued to innovate on that B two B side. Like you don't hear any complaints coming out of Microsoft on the consumer side or from those who work yeah. in the company, your things are not being innovative. Um, so they're doing, they're, they're doing an incredible job. 